seen this work, for instance, like on a quiz. I asked you guys to first just draw the triangle, right? Now, obviously, I don't there. I don't under, I don't recognize a, a obtuse angle here, right? I don't have one drawn, so I'm just going to work with my first triangle, which would just be an acute oblique triangle. So I'm just going to label like this. It doesn't matter where A, B, and C is. I'm just going to label it the way that I always have it. And just remember that the angles from their side lengths are always opposing, right? Like the small a is opposite of the angle. Now I'm just going to label my information. So I have B is 33 degrees. A is 79 degrees. The nice thing, guys, about having two angles is, again, we do remember that all the sides of the triangle add up to 180, right? So I'll, show, I'll write out the work just so you guys can see. But C is basically 180 degrees minus 33 degrees minus 79 degrees. You don't need to show that work. I'm assuming that you guys can do that in your head or on a calculator. But again, that ends up equaling, what do we say, 68 degrees? All right, so now the only value we know, though, is 7. All right, so the nice thing about to do law of sines, the only time you're going to be able to do law of sines, guys, is when you have a proportion, meaning you have an angle and an opposing side. It's the only time you can do it. So we recognize we have a and sine of a. And then what we're looking for is side B. Now, I'll give you guys some advice. You guys can see up on my notes, I have two sets of ratios. I have one where the sign is in the numerator, and the other one where the sign is in the denominator. You don't need to memorize this, but here is my advice when texting on your phone, is if you're solving for an angle, do the first ratios. If you're solving for a side, do the second ratios. The reason being is you want to solve for whatever's in the numerator. When it's in the denominator, you have to do an extra step. Okay? So in this case, if I have a, I have a and a, right? I'm looking, like I can do a ratio here with c or b. I'll just choose b. But either way, I need to figure out what the side length is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to use this ratio. 7 over the sine of 79 degrees is equal to b over the sine of 33 degrees. Okay, So I want my unknown to be in the numerator. It's not bad or wrong if it's in the denominator. You're just going to have to do extra steps to solve for it. Okay, Now, I am OK. Um, I'm OK with you guys when you do this. And again, I'll show you guys on another one on the, on your, um, on the computer. But remember, when you guys do this, round this answer to the nearest thousandth. But you're gonna if you're going to use this again, you're going to want to make sure you store it. All right. Now, in this case, we actually don't need to store it, so we're going to be OK. But I'll just to remind you, I'll do it. So in this one, let's do, oh, let me show you the work here real quick, just again. So b, so to solve for b, I need to multiply by the sine of 33 degrees. You don't need to show this equation. So I'm going to write it like this. So make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And then we'll do 7 times the sine of 79 degrees. Oh, sorry. Wait, what is that? 33, right? My bad. So do 7 times the sine of 33 divided by the sine of 79. And I get 3.8838, right? Yes? So if I was going to round to the nearest thousandth, I would say b equals 3.884. Now, I could use this again as my next ratio. However, you could store this in your calculator and use this in your next ratio. But guys, wouldn't it, just be, wouldn't it be better to create a ratio with angles that you already know? Are there like you don't want to use a stored feature like you're going to be you'll still get the right answer but it's better to use the information that you already have so let's just do the same ratio again let's just do sine of sine of 70 or 7 over sine of 79 degrees is now equal to c over the sine of 33 degrees now you don't need to show me this step if you go from here i will assume i'll understand that you can multiply this by sine of 33, you're just going to just plug in your calculator. 
It is sinus 68 degrees. I don't know. I'm going crazy. Thank you. So let's go ahead and do 7 times the sine of 68 degrees and then divide that by the sine of 79 degrees. And we get 6.612 as you round to the nearest thousand. Okay with that? Yes? No? 